Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Today, I'm going to answer your questions about the SBA loan program, the $350 billion loan program, the PPP, okay? And several of you have emailed asking about the qualifications, you know, whether or not you should apply, things of this nature. So I'm going to answer these questions and I wanted to wait to make this video because I had the feeling that it was going to be discussed today. All right, so here's what your president came on and said. This is what he said. I'm gonna give you some of the highlights to explain to you why Miss Aurora made that call. Here's the president. You know, I wanna remind small business owners across America that the Paycheck Protection Program is launching tomorrow. Nearly $350 billion in loans will be available to small businesses, including sole proprietors. These loans are up to 100% forgivable as long as employers keep paying their workers. Got to take care of your workers. Furthermore... Okay, so you heard him say that the program is for small businesses with employees. This is to keep employees working, okay? So that's the first indicator. If you do not have any business with employees that you need to pay, if you do not have evidence of a payroll, you might have some issues because as I show you some of these next clips, they're talking about the independent contractors and the sole proprietors and how you too can get down with the program. But I want you to listen to what, uh, I'm gonna get this woman's name wrong. It starts with a J. I want you to hear what she's saying right now because this is so doggone juicy. Listen to what she say. This relief will help stabilize the small business sector by providing businesses with the financial resources they need to keep their workers employed and keep up with their day-to-day -day operating expenses. Today, I want to ensure that small businesses all over the country know about the Paycheck Protection Program and how they can benefit from this. Simply put, the Paycheck Protection Program is to help keep employees on payroll and small businesses open. SBA will forgive the portion of the loan that is used toward job retention and certain other expenses. We are working closely with lenders so that businesses can go directly to their local lenders. Okay, so now she's telling you again, this is the Paycheck Protection Program. This is going to be dedicated to keeping your employees and then she throws in that a portion of the loan is going to be forgiven. Did you hear what she said? The portion that went to paying the employees and certain other expenses, a portion is going to be forgiven, okay? Now, now wait a moment. It gets, it gets juicier, it gets better. Listen to this. We need to get money to small business and American workers and that's what we're doing. The SBA and Treasury committed to get this program up and running tomorrow. And when Jovita says people working around the clock, they literally, we had both teams working till four o'clock in the morning and start working again today. We've heard feedback from lenders, community banks, regional banks, and we spent the last 24 hours making this system even easier. So this will be up and running tomorrow. I encourage all small businesses that have 500 or fewer people Please contact your lenders. Any FDIC institution will be able to do this. Any credit union, existing SBA lenders, and fintech lenders. Uh, you get the money. You'll get it the same day. You use this to pay your workers. Please bring your workers back to work if you've let them go. You have eight weeks plus overhead. This is a very important program. Okay, so the gentleman says that this thing is going to be up and running tomorrow. He breaks down even further that it is, it is really 
uh, aimed towards small businesses that have 500 or fewer employees, okay? Now, now, what he said here is what prompted Mr. Rover to make the phone call, okay? Really, you know, I was like, okay, now I'm really making a phone call because he um, verified what the young lady was saying as it relates to it's being turned over to your local lender. So any FDIC, uh, you know, bank, and he says, what did he say? Credit unions and all of this can uh, assist you with obtaining this loan, okay? It gets better. Listen to this. And I'm also pleased to report the employee retention credit. It's up and running. The first $10,000 of wages. You get a 50% credit. That's $5,000 per person. For everyone who's kept someone, you can immediately get that money. You can deduct it from what you owe the IRS immediately. If you don't owe us money, you'll get a refundable tax credit. So that is up and running. Well, the incentive that you have, and, and we want American business to be kept intact. The incentive is these are loans that turn into grants. So if you're a business owner and you're a restaurant, you can hire your people back, you get money for their, their medical, you keep them on the medical plan, you get money for your rent, you get money for your electricity. So you're motivated. We want you to have a business that you can reopen quickly when it's appropriate. So this doesn't cost the business owners anything. You know, when people talk about it, I can't imagine any American worker who had a job, is offered to keep their job, it isn't going to want to have it. And, and let me just be clear, we've also talked about this unemployment issue. You can only get unemployment if you don't have a job. I have one comment for explanation because I want to make sure everybody out there understands this. If you're an independent contractor, if you're a sole proprietor, you're eligible for this as well. Now that program won't be up and running until next week. But again, this is a very broad definition of small business. So if you're an independent plumber, if you're an independent contractor, you're covered under this program. Slightly more complicated. You have to come into your bank and give them more information. But starting next week, that part of the program will be up and running. Now listen to that. If you are an independent contractor, and he points out the plumber, everybody got a thing for a plumber, okay? Or a sole proprietor, well, you're, you're included as well, but you'll definitely have to go inside of the bank. And, and it's a little bit more stringent. You'll have to give more information. And I want you to know if you haven't, for those of you, for those of the you know, secured entrepreneurs who have not gone to the SBA website to check out this application, okay, they start out telling you that this is a two and a half hour application. So if you're not ready, I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what to tell you because, uh, you're going to be sitting here for two and a half hours giving us all your information. And that's okay because, like you just heard, this is money that, this is a loan that's going to turn into a grant because a portion of it is going to be forgivable. So, in lieu of all of this, Mr. Aurora now makes the phone call to the bank. Okay? Because I want to find out what the qualifications are. Because you all are asking now, what are the qualifiers? Because when you go on the database, they're just saying, okay, this is the eligibility okay this is what's going to make you eligible doesn't mean you qualify hello so the lady at the bank i'm going to read to you what she said she said well you know this is the paycheck protection program yes okay it's for 500 or fewer employees to help with payroll rent utilities health care costs and some other things she said that they, she, they didn't really have a, they didn't have a clear objective, but that would be coming. And you heard him say that by next week, some of these other things are going to be worked out. Okay. So she said, tell your clients that they're interested. These are some of the things they're going to need to bring in. Okay. Because this is a process. Okay. Because like, you know, they're telling you it's going to be turned into a grant, but it's going to start off as, as, as a loan. There's, there's an interest rate going on that they also talked about in this, in this whole conference today. But anyway. Okay, she said, number one, your 2019 payroll, including the last 12 months of payroll. Number two, 2019 employees, 1099s for 2019 employees and independent contractors that would otherwise uh, be an employee of your business. Do not include 1099s for services, okay? Number three, health care costs. All health insurance premiums paid by the business owner under a group health plan. And then number four, she said retirement, your company retirement plan, funding paid for by the company, okay? 
and and she threw in that it, it's it's going to be helpful if you have uh, the the tax returns, maybe your last two years tax returns. But she said, you know that that these are the qualifications for most loans. The quali- you know, the things that you would need to qualify for most loans, those tax returns. Um, but because they didn't really have all of the information, she gave those as as the things that they know they're going to request simply because of the true qualifiers for this particular loan as it relates to COVID-19 and things of this nature. So what Miss Aurora wants to say is, you know, um, I keep saying, go from sole proprietor to CEO. Go from sole proprietor to CEO, okay? There's, there's no benefit for you to be a sole proprietor. And this press conference today summed it up. And it's been a long day for Miss Aurora, okay? So I, I want you guys... Let me know where you are. Comment below if you're here on YouTube or if you're here on Facebook. Let Miss Aurora know if you will be applying, okay? But this is but I'm you know, this is gonna go back to what I'm constantly saying to people. If you if you refocused your company, if you refocused your business and, and you know for profits, okay, majorly, internationally, you're gonna be you're gonna avoid some of these things. Now, like they talked about, there's some there's some businesses that there's no way around it because your restaurants in a time like this, you know what I'm saying? Gyms in a time like this, things that we talked about yesterday. Okay, so you may not have an out immediately, but but this is cause to now start forward thinking. All right. So you all know that you can find me, Aurora Day, at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta